It was February 16th, 2017, and it was a Thursday, I believe. I had chosen to go up to Subway um, by myself, uh, and uh, on the way back, uh, I had smashed into a minivan head-on, um, and that's when I broke five of my bones, I punctured my lung, I ruptured my spleen, um, and I had a traumatic brain injury. I left work at five o'clock and started to come home. Um, got almost home, um, literally just about two minutes away from our house, and I came upon an accident, and I just thought, well, I hope everybody's okay. I made my left and went on to my house. As the garage door opened up, I noticed that our other vehicle was not in the garage, and I just felt sick. Um, I ran into the house, um, and I saw my husband, which meant the only other person that could be driving the car would be Ben. So I started saying to my husband, where's Ben, where's Ben? And he said, I don't know, he should have been home by now. He looked at his watch and he said, he should have been home by now. And I said, Dean, there's an accident right up the road. And so we started calling his cell phone and I hit redial on my phone one more time. And I heard a man's voice and he said, Mrs. Agin, this is Trooper Lee. Your son's been in a car accident and you need to get to the hospital right now. We didn't know the, the full extent of, the, of what, what it was yet. We knew that he was in a car accident. We knew it was bad. Um, we, didn't, we weren't able to see the car at the time, so we didn't know how bad it was. Well, he just so happened to crash right in front of a house with two nurses in there. And a uh, nurse named Christy was able to keep his airway open and keep him breathing in the car um, while the um, EMS was on its way to get to him. That entire time, the engine was smoking and the fluid was running out from underneath the car and she was really afraid that that car was gonna start on fire. And she tried to get Ben out of the car and she couldn't. But she never left his side. How do you thank somebody for doing that? How do you thank somebody for doing that? She stayed with them till EMS could get there. She's absolutely incredible. This accident happened in my backyard practically and I did the only thing I knew how to do which was become a nurse and take care of a patient. And once I got to the car and realized I was not going to get him out of the car, I did the only thing that I could do at that point, which was to open his airway. So I just grabbed hold of the top of his hair, his head, and pulled it into a neutral position and stayed there. And I did not move from that position until EMS got there and was able to take over his, the, the uh, stabilization of his cervical spine and his airway. The next thing that kicked in was Kim worked for Piedmont Orthopedics. So the next person that she called was uh, Dr. Dean. She worked for Dr. Dean and scheduled surgeries for him. It was around maybe 5.30. I had just finished in the OR. I was actually in the uh, locker room and I talked to her and she was, I could tell that the weight of the world was on her shoulders. Lo and behold, he was just finishing up a surgery at that time and he was washing his hands. And my wife called him up and, and said, my son is coming in right now into the ER and he said I will finish cleaning up here and I will go be there and wait for him. It meant so much to us that Dr. Dean was there to meet his ambulance. The crash was so extensive it was a prolonged extraction and so during that time he was hemorrhaging inside his inside his um, belly from the ruptured spleen. Dr. Thompson did his, the trauma part of his surgery and did an absolute incredible job 
of diagnosing him so quickly and getting him into surgery so quickly to save his life. During that time, we kept getting some messages from Dr. Dean, right? Um, updating us on Ben's condition, saying, uh, this is what's happening next, this is what's happening, and we're at this stage, and it should take this much longer. Because it's so long, and you don't know what's going on in there. And so just that little bit of information that we could get meant everything to us. I definitely wanted to give her some real-time feedback, just so to try to make that difficult situation, you know, slightly more manageable. Uh, that was going up until probably about two o'clock in the morning, I'm guessing. I want to say about that time. Uh, and that's when they started talking to us about the, the TBI and what was going to happen with that. And, and they were really concerned about the swelling. I can't tell you how much I appreciate the fact that they didn't rush in to do surgery on his brain right away. They waited. They waited to see what his brain was going to do. And they were looking for some response from him. They were looking for the thumbs up, right? Ben, give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs up. And they gave us, gave him till about four o'clock, four o'clock a.m. And, and at that time at 4 a.m., that was the cutoff time. And I'll tell you, man, the kid waited till 4.01 the last chance and and uh, kept saying, Ben, give him a thumbs up and darn it, his thumb came up. And we started yelling, he has his thumb up, he has his thumb up. That meant he didn't, at that time, he wasn't going back into surgery right then. God provided for Ben, he provided for him, keeping him safe in that car in the first place, I mean, his, Nothing was wrong with his spine, nothing was wrong with his neck, you know, and then he provided a nurse there. Um, God provided for Ben, uh, an angel there, and, and Christy, uh, to, to help him there, provided Dr. Dean in the right place at the right time, um, provided friends and family for us at the right time, uh, provided uh, Dr. Thompson to be there. So many things could have gone wrong with that injury, um, but I think that he's, he's really been given another chance and I'm excited to see what he does with that opportunity. Uh, everything was perfectly orchestrated um, and was not in any form uh, of coincidence at all. But the fact that, that the doctors at Moses Cohn are so prepared mentally that they're able to to pick out things and say, this is what happens, this is what happens, this is what's, what's happening, this is what isn't happening so quickly um, was really fantastic.